Hey there, LT Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 4. In the last episode, we uh, did finish off White Park Zone, fought Metal Sonic for the first time, and did two stages of Oil Desert Zone. In this episode, we're going to do the last few stages of Oil Desert and move on from there. So, what say you that we just pick up started and right go, and what am I even fucking saying? What are these... Pick up started and right go? I'm... There's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with my brain. I can't always English. Oh. Okay. We're doing this kind of beam play. It's like Rockstar. Who's gonna be Waddle D though? Tails? I don't think so. Tails ain't no bandana D. Even though that Waddle D wasn't a bandana D. It's genu gen generally assumed that they are, might have been the same Waddle D, but we never know until it's confirmed by uh, HAL Laboratory. Also, I like how Kirby 64 is like the first thing that like uh, comes to my mind with like a rising sand pit, even though that's been something that's been done from just off the top of my head. Also, Super Mario Galaxy, Mega Man 8. Uh, I guarantee other situations have used it. Like, it's... Rising things like that is not a unique experience to Kirby 64, but that just goes to show, like, how... how much Kirby has influenced my everything. Let me through, Eggman! I appreciate the sand rubber banding. It's kind of funny that the sand rubber bands, but... Let me through, let me through, let me through! I wonder what the red rings do in this game, actually, because thinking about it, like... I don't know if necessarily there's, like, a... cool little... Ow, fuck you. Photo gallery in this or anything. Probably just an extras menu or something? I don't know. But like, in Sonic Colors they unlock, uh... Getting, getting all the red rings... Uh... Nets you the ability to get to Super Sonic. Oh, that's why this is oily! Okay, how do you attack these guys? You just have to have the absolute perfect angle or something? Probably. Okay, that's just gonna wall me out then, alright. Um... Do I need, just need to, like... But c come on, let me get over there! It just, it just stops me there. Okay, hold on. Fine, I'll go the longer way around, I guess. It, it, it just stops me! Hello? I'm missing something. Is it to do with these bumpers? It's to do with the bumpers, okay. I hit one of the bumpers and I kind of acknowledge that, yeah, it moved the thing, but like, I didn't... I didn't stick around long enough to find out anything else about it. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of these guys, so I'm just gonna do that! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, I thought he was facing the wrong way for some reason, so I was like, oh, cool, cool, I can just go, af go after him. Well, I can get that red ring later, it's, it doesn't look hard. Oh, I was probably supposed to go up or something, right? Oh, the, no, there's just nothing there, okay, never mind. I missed out on nothing, except I probably missed out on a special stage, yep, okay. 
Oh well. I don't think I would want to get a special stage in that stage anyway, because that stage kind of sucked. At least as far as keeping rings is concerned. Doo -doo -doo. A giant born of scrap metal. Time to fight Dr. Eggman. Sorry, Tails. You've been denied. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. There, there's arrows. Oh, that's- yeah, I, I kind of realized- wait, this is gonna be dropping things, isn't it? I was like, do I need to stay here? Is that what this is? Oh, Tails him. Okay. So, it looks like this is just an auto-scrollery thing. We gain enough height and then eventually Eggman is hittable. I just use this to speed it up. Ow, a box dropped on my head. I do have to wait until Eggman himself is visible, though. This is not a very exciting boss fight. What is it with the boss fights in this game being the most boring things ever? Sonic 4 didn't have great... Episode 1 didn't have great boss fights, but at the, at the very least, I felt like I was always doing something. But this is just like, yep, I'm waiting. This is not interesting. He bounced me. Don't bounce me. How long does this fight go on for? I would have ended it, like, this is when, like, the Mario strategy of three hits per f three hits in a battle is, like, very nice, because it means that things like this don't drone on. Like, if there was just three hits for this guy, I'd be like, okay, that was alright. But this is just like, no. The reason why Sonic boss fights work with, like, lots of hits is because, like, oh, I think something's changed. He wants me to do the super rollout thing, but I don't have anything to do with that with. Oh, he's about to land on me. Oh, he can land on you. Okay, I see what I need to do. I hit, need to hit his red feet. I just didn't know he could land on me. I only saw him land on the left and right sides before. Uh-huh. Eggman, please. Please, just... How do you manipulate this? God, how do you manipulate this? I'm, I need to make sure that I get this ring so I don't fucking die. 
and have to redo the entire goddamn thing again. But I don't know how to manipulate Eggman so that, like... He's in the right position. No, I'm going the goddamn wrong way! I was holding right! Ugh. I do not like the lack of control you sometimes have. Go, 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 Yeah, I hit him. Yeah. Fuck you. That was a boring boss. That was a really bad boss. Not a fan. Go away. Ugh. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Look at all these pigs. Okay. Next stage. Let's go. Do -do 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 -do. The tornado takes off. Sky Fortress Act Zone. Act Zone? Yes, that is clearly what that says. Hello, we're on a plane now. Yeah. I mean, blah, blah, blah. Suddenly, it's a big thing. It's another thing. It's Metal Sonic, actually. <laughs> Why are you in a fucking plane, Metal Sonic? You can fly! Oh no, missiles. In this act, you'll take the sky aboard Tartel Grenado. Okay, so... We got Sky Chase Act 1 again. So it's Sky Chase, and then, and then it's basically Wing Fortress slash Flying Battery. So again, you can see... Uh, Vital, I guess. Um, you can see how, like, they kind of lost original ideas after, uh, Sylvania Castle and White Park. Which is a shame, because they were on, they were doing pretty okay, and now we just have this, and it's like, Sky Chase wasn't very exciting, it wasn't even, ex it wasn't even very exciting in Mirage Saloon Act 1, when that happened. So, like, bringing it back is not fun. Just because it was in the original games doesn't mean it was good. I'm sorry. I like it when they like use rings to kind of show you, hey, you can move here. Cause like I didn't I genuinely didn't know I could move there, and then they had the rings of going up, and I was like, oh, I wanna get these rings. Let's go up. I understand now. Turtles. At least give him this, the music's nice. But the stage is boring. <gasps> Tails is dizzy now. Alright. Got an extra life. Will they have a special stage ring at the end of this stage? I don't know if that's even possible. Good thing it doesn't matter if Tails gets zapped by electricity. Oh, there's a red ring. Don't fancy having to do this stage again. And, I'll, and honestly, since it's probably... If I do ever go for the red rings in these stages, it will probably be... In the distant future, and not right now, so I won't even remember. Oh yeah, you need to do that, so I'm gonna have to do the stage, like... Several times. In that regard. Bye, Tails! 
See you later. Oh, Tails didn't come back this time. That was rude. Last time that happened, Tails just came back and was there. God. Again, sometimes getting through these games is just knowing what's going to happen. Understanding what limitations are going to be. It can be very frustrating. What? I heard the beep of the homing attack, so I pressed the button immediately, and it didn't do. I can't wait to find out that there is a special stage ring at the end of this, but because I died, I won't be able to get it. So I had 300 rings, and now I have... 9. And here's Tails. Please don't cannonball me. Yep, this is a thing that's going on. I am real bored. I killed that guy just literally by moving? Right through the plane. I have nothing to add to this. I hope I'm not supposed to be, like, attacking somehow. Okay, I can't, like, homing attack the cannonball. I was thinking, like, okay, maybe I'm supposed to, like, attack the ship that Metal Sonic has by, like, homing attacking, like, the cannonball and sending it back at him. But didn't seem like that was the case. And I killed the bird earlier, so it's not like I need to get those either. Although I'm getting a sneaking suspicion that I'm doing things wrong. Let's try the cannonball again. Okay, you just don't homing attack it. Fuck you, game. Every other time when you can do something, you put a homing reticle on it. This thing you don't? God fucking damn it. I even had the right idea, like, oh, maybe I'm supposed to do this. But I try that, and, like, nothing changes. God damn it. I'm actually kind of annoyed at myself, because, like, I was even thinking that the entire time. Like, am I supposed to be attacking this guy? But... There was no homing attack reticle on- when there's a homing attack reticle on literally everything else, you would think that these would have homing attack reticles. Oh well. Like, it's conditioning. Like, under normal circumstances, I'd probably be fine just without that. But, like, the homing attack reticle does show when you can hit stuff. And it happens every other situation in this game. So, alright, no special stage rank. Cool, I didn't mess up by losing all 300 of those ranks. I'm okay with that. Okay. Infiltrating the Sky Fortress. And now the Wing Fortress Sky uh, Flying Battery vibes only grow. I just at least wish there was like more originality because 
That was always... That's... I think that's the biggest problem... Annoyance that I think most people have with Sonic nowadays is just, like, the lack of originality. But, like, I feel like it feels like such more of a bite for Sonic, because the biggest thing about Sonic back in the day was that he really was super original and creative with all of these worlds. Every single one always felt fresh and new and exciting. That was what put him above Mario back in the day. Back in the day. Whoa, okay! Was like, compared to Mario's 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, like, Sonic had actual worlds and levels to explore that had, felt like they had a history behind them. That was something that persisted even to the 3D games, you can't deny that. Like, every stage in the 3D games had something to it. So, like... Like, every stage felt fresh and unique, so when stages started becoming repetitive... It started to just get really frustrating, because, like, Sonic didn't used to be like this. We didn't used to get, like, oh, Green Hill again, oh, Chemical Plant again. Like, it's why Generations was a big deal to begin with, because, like, for the first time we did get to go back to some of these stages. So for the first time it did return us to these worlds. And that was exciting. And now it's just, oh, look, these stages again. Isn't that fun? Like, remember this? Remember that? That's really what it is. That's really what it all boils down to. I finally get to find out what this is! I'm bouncing around a lot. Mashing the A button, I guess. Oh, it just kills everybody and gives me a million rings! Alright! Cool. Stop holding the controller. Okay. Hi. Why didn't you homing attack? Um, what? I don't want to be doing this, though. Well, somehow I don't think I'm gonna get... Somehow I don't think I'm gonna get the special stage. Unless a miracle happens, like another one of those capsules is showing up. Well, I only need about 40, which is certainly possible, but... Not if I start seeing a long stretch of land that leads to nothing. A high red ring. Alright, well I have the rings that I need. Uh, uh. Yeah! Alright, let's give number six a shot. Do, 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 do. Another extra life! Okay. Special stage, here we go. Do, 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 do. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, this one looks like it's a full pipe instead of a half pipe. Fascinating. Can't wait to go on the ceiling. Well, I got 148. Is that what I needed? No, it was not what I needed. Wow. Instant failure. Damn. Well, so much for that. Wow. That's actually genuinely surprising to me. I didn't feel like I did po poorly, but oh well. Well, so much for Super Sonic, because I don't think I'm going to have the op- I think this is the last stage, so yeah. Like, if I had one more to do, I probably would have just gone back to Sylvania Castle. But two more? I don't think two more is worth it right now. It doesn't get anything for the ending. I know that much. I, I think it literally changes jack shit, actually, from what I remember of this game. Like, getting all the Chaos Emeralds doesn't even show you, like, a good ending. It just is, like, it does nothing. So, I don't really care in that regard. Oh! Tail saved me. 
Now, if I do somehow manage to get the special stage ring in this stage, and I get a chance to try again, and then I get it, and there's only one left, then yes, I will go back. But, oh well. Also, this is probably going to be the last stage of this episode, so I don't think I'm going to be fighting the boss, because the bosses in this game have been long and drawn out and boring. My three least favorite things. Okay, you can't jump on that. You have to homing attack it. Cool. This is not a very exciting stage so far. This is basically just launch base. This is the launch base gimmick. I think it was launch base. Or was it Death Egg? I think it was Death Egg. Death Egg Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Run! Don't get burned! You don't want a crispy hedgehog now, do ya? Zoomy! Isn't this fun, not doing anything? Uh, not really sure what. I'm not really sure what the rest of that sentence was gonna be, I guess. Good, good job, me. I guess I wasn't sure about something. Not sure where I'm going. get crushy. Oh, okay. Sometimes the kinds of platforms you can jump through and the kinds you can't look the same. This is totally worth it. Totally not worth it, actually. Lol. I didn't realize there was no ground there. Oh. Well. That worked, I guess. Zoomy! I wonder if we're supposed to press this button. Well. I don't think I was going to get the special stage ring anyway. Alright. Next time on Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 4, we're probably going to beat the game. So. See you guys then. Yes, I know I got an extra life. I have plenty. Hopefully the boss won't... The bosses in this game won't murder me. Alright, oil desert blah blah blah, yeah, yeah, and then you're gonna show me this, yes, I get it. This is probably a long episode, actually, wow. Sorry about that. <laughs>